Hello and welcome back. This monthly round down is a bit late. I wanted to finish off my software series, the three apps that run my life series, and I didn't want to have any gaps between the three videos. So that's why this is up on April 9th instead of last of March. But without any further ado, here is my March in reading, tinkering, and web browsing. In March, I got a lot of reading done since I had a month of Nextory. Nextory is a Swedish reading service, kind of like Kindle Unlimited. They have ebooks and audiobooks, and I used my month to listen to Blake Crouch's three latest novels. For those of you that saw my um, February rundown, I, I think I just started Dark Matter, or I was like in the middle. I finished uh, Dark Matter and then I read uh, Recursion and Upgrade. I managed to get this done by listening at a higher speed. I think it was one and a half or twice the speed. And I did this when I was commuting to work. Yes, I'm one of those people with no patience. I listen to YouTube videos faster as well sometimes, but I guess not everyone can be as fast of a talker as me. To be fair though, also, the guy reading the first two books, he spoke really slowly. And the third book had um, a different reader and he was on the slow side as well. So don't hate me. They were slow. Two of the books are reviewed on my blog and the next review will be up, I think, next week. I think so. But as a speed review, I enjoyed the dark matter, I got depressed by recursion, and I was intrigued yet strangely bored by upgrade. So dark matter had a quite high score on uh, Goodreads, and I can get behind that score, sure. Um, recursion, on the other hand, I mean, I get it, but it was depressing. So depressing, so, so very depressing. Upgrade, I think this low score is a bit unfair, even though I wasn't that keen on it. I think it had better ideas than recursion, or rather the ideas were more fleshed out. But it got kind of... But I guess maybe people had the same issue that I had, that it got kind of repetitive uh, towards the end. But... Uh, I could totally say that the, these are all readable. Right now, the only new book I've started is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I mentioned this in my Obsidian video, I think. This book is going a bit slower since I'm reading an actual paper book, which is harder to deal with when you are a bike commuter. Audiobooks are preferable in that regard. In Obsidian, I haven't been doing that much. I did add a quite cool but simple thing. It's just a stopwatch. I added it to... I wanted to easily track the time I was working on specific entries in my vault. Uh, specifically, I wanted to track the time it takes for me to write scripts or blog posts. And I had all sorts of convoluted solutions but all I really needed was something to press start on when I, when I start to write and then stop when I'm done for that period of work. Then I just make uh, a note in the project about how much I worked that period. And then when I'm done with the project, when it's all said and done and I've shipped it, I just add all the minutes up and I can see how much time I spend writing. So this is... This is quite cool. I mean, it's it's a stopwatch. What can I say? You start it, it goes. And you can pause it to, to stop again, or you can just reset it. And also for for YouTube's sake, mostly I've added the reading time plugin. This is mostly to give me an idea about how long a video is gonna be when I write the script. It's it's just mostly so I get a. A sort of an idea about how how long it's gonna take. Sometimes I read way slower, sometimes I read way faster, and if maybe I'll have 
uh, when I'm showing something and I am taking a break from talking, then obviously the video is going to be longer. But it gives me a rough idea on about how much it's going to be. So as you see here, this would be a one minute read. Let's see if we take a longer one. This is rather long. This would then be 12 minutes read. Other than that, I haven't been tinkering very much uh, in March. I've been uh, stuck in sort of productivity mode. Oh no, oh no, I've been so productive. This is also why my online finds in March aren't that impressive. I haven't actually done that much web surfing of the kind where you find cool stuff. What I did find though was this. This is the Smithsonian Open Access and this is super cool. Let's see if you can just press just browsing. Let's see here. As you can see, there's a bunch of cool media here and you can sort by museum. You can sort by, by topic, um, by date, resource type, place, and group. I'm not sure what the group thing is, but you know, if you know, you know, I guess. All of these are apparently released under Creative Commons Zero, which means that all these assets are free to use as you want. Some assets, I, I've read on the page that some of these assets may need third party permission, so be mindful. Just know that there might be a third party license holder, I guess. But even if you don't want to use the assets for something, it's just cool to browse around and look at all all this history. It's This is what museums should be all about. I'll add a link down below to, to this page and uh, you can just lose a few hours browsing around. So that's it for the March rundown. Maybe this was a bit shorter video, but after last week's 20 minutes, maybe this is preferable. Leave a comment down below. Do you like shorter videos or longer videos? Do you have a specific type of videos you prefer long and a specific type of video you prefer short? I would love to know. And as always, feel free to add me on Goodreads or Storygraph or Mastodon. All the links are down below.